So this man received the Medal of Honor in in a peacetime, in showing valor in peacetime, which I didn't even know was possible that the Medal of Honor could be given in a peacetime environment. But um, apparently before 1963, over 200 men, I'll put the exact number here somewhere, um, received the Medal of Honor during peacetime for acts of her heroism. Uh, anyway, I'm going to uh, take you over here and show you the grave of this Medal of Honor winner from 1920. Uh, who got a Medal of Honor during peacetime. Lieutenant Commander William M. Corey, Jr., United States Navy, son of William and Emily Corey, October 5th, 1889 to October 6th, 1920. Greater love hath no man than to lay down his life for his friends. William M. Court, Medal of Honor, Peacetime. Now the story goes, in 1920, I believe it's four days before he died, on the 2nd of October, 1920 he was a passenger in a plane that went down and he was thrown from the plane about 30 30 feet and even though he was injured he went back to the burning plane to try to rescue the pilot of the plane and in so doing uh, he, he he suffered severe burns that took his life four days later and he is he has been awarded the Medal of Honor and this I believe one of these markers were placed here in 2017. <clears throat> so one of the things I do now that I've been doing this YouTube channel is uh, every time I go on a little trip or anything, I, I look on find a grave and try to find famous graves along the way that I'm going to be driving it where I can stop and do it. And, and, uh, and you know, you, you, you learn a lot of history that way and you find out about people and people's stories that way. But this Lieutenant Commander Corey is buried right here. And it has a connection to me a little bit. Let me show you what that is. Now, Lieutenant Commander Corey is buried right here. That's his grave site. I was born in that building right there in Quincy, Florida. It's like a police station now, but my dad said that they would walk, he'd walk my mom up and down this hill right here, trying to get her, you know, to go ahead and go into labor and have me. So, Lieutenant, Lieutenant Commander Corey, right here, and he was here, what, 100 yards from me when I was born? And that's something I would never would have known if I wouldn't have uh, gone down this journey on YouTube and trying to find these famous graves but just think that's kind of cool so that's the grave of lieutenant commander Corey, uh heroic guy uh died saving people's lives and uh and i just think it's kind of kind of crazy that he's you know he's buried that close to where i was born and so you know it's a little bit of a personal connection to me we're both from quincy even though i never lived here my mom and then came here because I think it was cheaper to have me here. But that's my connection to this place and geographically, my connection to Lieutenant Commander Corey, American hero. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Uh, comment below, let me know what you think about the video. And remember, not all those who wonder are lost. Thanks for watching.